Hi Virgo, welcome to your past life uh, reading for singles. Now this is a retrograde special, okay? So let's take a look. What are your karmic debts? Where is your soulmate? When will you be meeting them? What are your past life lessons? Or, you know, what are the things that you need to be aware of in your current waking life? Well, in your current life or in your waking life. Okay. Let's take a look. Why is it that there are some things in your life right now that keeps on happening or that keeps on occurring over and over again? And same old people, sorry, same old situation, different faces. It's a pattern. Let's take a look. Wow. <clears throat> Two phases of your lives have already shown here. One is that when you were... No, actually three. One is that when you were born in Asia, um, Eastern Europe, and Egypt. Mm, okay. Mm, let's pull out your clarification anyway. The three cards. Vows. Native American. Oh. Okay, that's four. Wow, there we go. Looks like the cards are in favor of you right now. Four faces or four stages of your lives. Let's take a look. yourself retreat healing family issues passion you love uh, keep an open mind calling your soulmate honeymoon mm -mm -mm. and what are you supposed to become right now let's take a look Freedom, music, heart's desires, crystals, infinite abundance, and books. Talk to your angels. Okay, uh, Virgo, you left somebody in the past, which is more likely this is somebody that is your karmic soulmate, okay? You're a very religious. You believe in God. You have strong faith. You were raised by a very religious family. And I feel like you you also have, um, you know what, there are actually three soulmates that already appeared here. Okay, you have the ability to heal other people. You have healing, uh, healing touch and uh, healing energies, okay? Now, the first, um, the first karmic soulmate that you have is an air sign. Somebody who's younger than you and someone who is full of ambition, a little bit cocky, but very, you know, good looking with a dimple on uh, their right chick. And I feel like, um, you know, the, uh, well, they look like the, um, well, the, uh, you know, the, the old uh, or classic version of, um, who's that uh, singer? Um, the uh you know the uh the lead vocalist of backstreet boys i oh, no, no sorry yeah no no um the brother of um oh god i forgot his name <laughs> the brother of ronan keating yeah so now i, I finally remember it yeah, he looks somewhat like that. Well, the classic version of him, or Orlando Bloom. And just the eyes, okay? And then the, the lips. The nose is a little bit different. And um, 
Okay, and then the other one is from... Well, they were in the position either. They were in the politics. They are... The one in your past life who's in the position is like an, a former politician or like a governor. Okay? And this one is older than you. Someone who's a fire sign who loves to play people with their hands. Who loves to, you know, um, manipulate other people. Or they feel like they know what's best among other people. They feel like they are the most intelligent creature or whatever it is. This is your second soulmate, which is a very karmic. Okay? Which is even right now in their current life. They are still the same. But... Um, I feel like they were in the field of business, not really in the politics. This, I mean, th in this present life. Now your now your third one is somebody who's younger than you, is and someone whom you will feel more either paternal or maternal. Okay, so you will only feel like this is your child. So um, I feel like this person is much younger than you but you will somehow feel very compassionate close and it's like you've already met before you feel like this person needs some guidance some direction needs your advice needs some mother care you know and stuff like that or you feel somewhat like a father or mother to this person and not really that much in love okay so this three soulmate of yours which is i feel like this um the, the second one, the one who is a former politician, he is coming around uh, the month of November, okay? And this other karmic one, uh, the first one, the air sign, I feel like they have some health problems, but they're still, you know, they're still going to live. And uh, they're, they're still around, but I feel like you've already known this person. Now, there is somebody in the past that you have made a promise to, okay? You were caught up in... A bizarre love triangle or a bizarre uh, tr um, love affair, okay, or whirlwind affair. And um, you were very attracted to men who's in uniform, men who is very, you know, diplomatic, uh, well sophisticated, educated, and very smart, you know, or when they talk, it's like, wow, you know. Now, you were very drawn to this kind of people. Because you yourself feel a little bit powerless. Even though you're a very hardworking person, even though you, you're very um, concerned about financial securities, you're very, you know, um, it's like you always worry about what's going to happen next. You love living the life of a luxury. And at the same time that you're very hardworking, dedicated, and very, you know, like a um, career-oriented person. You will go places. But here in this, uh, during that time, well, I still feel like you were only single during this time. And the, the other phase in your life when you were in Egypt is that you were already a mother, okay, of twins. Now, you have a lot of fears. You've been living your life with a lot of fears. And um, you left somebody with, you know, without meaning your promise and this person just kept holding on to your promise until the day they you know they they died and that promise when they died it's still hanging in your karmic loop okay so i feel like this is something that you need to go back to and retrieve okay karmically now, the one who is a politician is that this is when you were an Asian, okay? So, I feel like either you're a Japanese or you're Chinese. I'm also picking up Cambodian. But, um, these are, you know, these are the times that you were, oh, okay. No, I f feel like when you were in Asia, uh, what is that? Women who dress up with a very thick makeup. Ah. Geisha. Okay, so no wonder that you're very powerless during at that time and you were very attracted to men of power and uniform. And then the other one is when you were in Egypt, you've had twins, but you lived in so much fear. So I feel like the main lesson for you here, now with your three uh, clarifications, 
you made a vow which is this is connected to this you know the one who's an ear sign and you're also a Native American so this one this person this soulmate of yours already came back in your um, one two three in your third lifetime and you are the one who have some problems with your health okay you're the one who's always sick you're the one who's always frail even if you want to gain some weight you never gained weight or even if you gained weight you lose it so easily your your metabolism is too high which is good for you so when you were a native american you've had some problems with your health and i feel like you were only like a very simple uh um person or tribes man or tribes woman at that time so now your main lesson here is there is somebody that you made a promise to but you never you know it's like you only played around with this person's heart and now this person the reason why their spirit or their soul just keeps on coming back and looking out for you is because you made a promise that you will come back for them you made a promise that you will marry them as well and you will be growing old together so if the soul of this person or the energy of this person just keeps on coming back into your life it means that there is somebody that you need to um cure your karmic debt or your karmic ties okay now and the uh, other soulmate of yours is someone who's older than you some somebody who feels like they own the world or they're much stronger than any other leader so i feel like they, this is a a business person and older than you this is the one that will be so mean and cruel and will not be treating you so well there is also a possibility of violence if you will be ending up with this person okay so now the three phases this is actually very long to explain if i will have to go through stage by stage so i'll just make it so quick now in your first stage of your life okay you were you're very young you're very promising and very good looking petite young woman okay you did not you do not really think of having true love you're, you're not really into those serious committed relationships because for you you're very good looking everyone's so attracted to you and you feel like oh you know why would i stay committed to you when i can have more for myself so this person who expected for your promise that you will be fulfilling they already grew old okay they were they were once in the military or they were once um, um a volunteer during the war and they held it you know they um they were holding on to your promise and even when they died their soul have been looking for you in different dimensions and your other karmic partner or your karmic uh, soulmate is the one who's very cruel mean and uh, a possibility that currently or in this present life they've already had four to seven divorces because of their attitude and they own several guns okay and in the third lifetime uh, i feel like this is when you were in egypt when you had the two when you had twins i don't really see any spouse of yours here but you have lived in so much fear um i feel like mm, it's because of those times when you were under the fear or something like that so you were also an old soul and then this again twice that you have made a promise to the same person it's just that they are you know different faces but same soul okay so be very careful right now in making your promise or i feel like this time in your current life someone will be giving you a promise or someone will be um like uh what do you call this like uh stringing you along and make you feel or expect that they're going to be coming back to you and then when they get when they get back you're going to get married okay you will be meeting somebody who doesn't know how to fulfill their own promise and for you to uh cure that uh, karmic debt you have to teach that person how to honor their word okay now Well, free yourself up. You are actually entangled in three different types of karmic debts. Okay. 
and uh, you lived in different places. You were, you know, it's like at a very young age, you loved traveling, you've already traveled in several places, been with several people who is of a noble, you know, they're very noble and they, they came from a very good background. There are also some family heal, so, sorry, there are also some family issues that you need to heal. You're a very passionate person and your new soulmate will be your new love, not somebody from the past. You need to keep an open mind because I feel like this person is very different from you or different from your standards. Now you, you have already called out your soulmate and I feel like it is upcoming, but you need to clear out the three karmic debts. Okay, and you will be living in a different place other than where you're living right now, and you will also be ending up with somebody who is, uh, well, you both speak the same language, but I feel like they're half. Okay, they came from a different background, and their mother is a very good cook. They're, I can't really describe the per your soulmate, but I can only describe the uh, the mother. Okay, they're of a Greek background, and uh, they're small, curly, and fat. Okay. Well, there is soulmate is not fat, so don't worry. And you also need to learn how to express yourself and no to codependencies. Now, what are you supposed to become right now? What is your life direction? School. Either you're supposed to be a teacher or you're supposed to own up a school or, st or put up some you know some training stuff some training centers or you know like a school for younger people and you have the strength okay to become a leader so it is much better and it's much advisable for you to be self-employed freedom is real freedom is what you will be choosing so like what i said it's much better for you to be self-employed you have some music sorry you have some talent in music in the hearts I feel like you're into modern music. Follow your heart's desires. Get in touch with your earth side. And I feel like you are the only one who can control the infinity of happiness, abundance, and love that will be flowing your way. And you love... It's like you, you always aim for new knowledge okay you're a very intelligent and you know smart person that whenever that there is something new that you learn you feel so good about it it's like when you take some new food or when you taste some new delicacies or cuisines you feel so good about it and whenever that there are some things in your life that you feel a little bit uh, confusing or you don't know which direction to take you, you just need to talk to your angels because you're very guided and you're very blessed and uh, protected okay so okay so anyway that's it for you for this retrograde and for this month virgo i'm sorry if it's a little bit uh, you know like here and there but because you know it's so hard to explain four different lives in a very short period of time okay so, anyway, that's it for you for this month or for this retrograde video. If you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.